Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're going to show you six ways to DOA closet for your needs. Because you do not have to live with water shelving anymore. <laughs> Now, number one is turning a closet into a craft space. So right behind us, actually, this used to be a typical closet with wire shelving. With a few simple items, we were able to turn it into the ultimate craft closet. On the back wall, we use wall control metal pegboard, which is a great system that can be moved and changed depending on how your crafting needs may change over the years. So this closet went from boring old closet to a great craft closet. Number two is changing an old pantry into a landing zone. This was an underused closet that it was really too deep for a pantry. I never could figure out what to do with it. So I just had to, and again, it had that wire shelving in it. So I decided to make it into this landing zone. I come in through the garage and I needed a place just to leave my purse, my coats, all that kind of stuff. The back wall is shiplap. Now, I like shiplap right now, and at some point I may not. We decided to trend proof that closet by putting the shiplap onto a separate piece of board. So if I ever change my decor, I can go in there, take it all down, and there's no damage to the drywall. So I was able to turn this underused closet into a functional landing zone that I literally use every single day. And here's a look at another closet to landing zone transformation. And this one's at Steph's house. And for this one, we used actually a kitchen cabinet that we got on Craigslist. And we built a very simple shelf and put some hooks on it and we were done. Took about maybe two hours. Number three is getting the maximum storage out of a closet. So in my bedroom, I have two closets and one I wanted to use for just storage. So we actually went to Home Depot and bought two pieces of four by eight feet sheets of plywood. Now these don't fit in our car uh, and they might not fit in yours. So when you go to Home Depot, bring your measurements with you because they will make some rough cuts on that four by eight sheet of plywood for you. So it will fit in your car. And also we bought some trim pieces and we were able to cut those ourselves at the miter cutting station at Home Depot. But if you're having trouble, just ask somebody and they usually will help you out. So with a few sheets of plywood, we were able to turn this closet into the ultimate storage location. Number four, we took Steph's walk-in closet and made it more functional with pre-bought materials. Now, I think everyone thinks that the only thing you can find is that wire shelving, but if you'll look in the shelving department of the Home Depot, you'll find solid boards and other components to retrofit your closet. And that's what we did. We bought some base cabinets, we bought some rods, we bought some solid shelving and made that closet work for her. And no more wire shelving. Yes. Number five is a gear storage closet. I have a lot of outdoor gear and needed a place to put it. So I took down that old wire shelving and turned this into the ultimate outdoor gear storage location. We only use two shelves at the bottom. In the top, we use wall control. So I could easily take that down in the future and just put up a bar for clothes so that if I move out of this house and somebody just wants it back as a closet, I can still do that. So keep that in mind to future-proof your closet if your needs change or the next owner of the house might just want it back as a clothes closet. And the last one, and probably my favorite, is my walk-in closet. There was wire shelving in there that never really functioned well, and I probably lived with that way too long. But I saw this picture on Pinterest and I thought, oh, I want to do that in my closet. How can I do that? So I realized I had three pieces of furniture that would work. So for those three pieces of furniture that I already own, I was able to transform this closet into a multifunctional, zen, very comfortable space for my needs. So get inspiration from videos, Pinterest, the world around you and think, hmm, how can I do that in my house? Or how can I make a space more functional? So let us know, have you got an idea for a closet that needs a makeover in your house? Let us know in the comments below. And every single project we shared today has a corresponding video of how we did that closet makeover. And we will put a link to all of those below. And there'll be a link to our website where you can see all the products that we used. So thanks for joining us. And if you want to see more projects from us, always visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com. Thanks for joining. Bye.